asking Grandma Larsa for making great late for the party. Thank you. Great job. Um, I totally agree with um, what Kip was saying. I think sometimes um, I get my own way. I always think about like other people when I'm writing, and, and you should think about other people, I guess, when you're writing. But for the most part, if you'll just, for me, if I'll just write it down and not worry about the song being good or bad or indifferent, I'm not, I'm just saying get it out there. Don't worry about what other people think or how many likes you're gonna get on Instagram or it doesn't matter. Like just getting it out there and, and pushing it out in the open. You're being vulnerable. It's like walking into a room naked full of people that you don't know and, and that's that's a weird statement, but <laughs> that, that's what songwriting is, to be to be able to go out there and not be afraid to make mistakes and put out uh, put out a hundred songs to get one. You know, Dolly Parton, I heard her talking the other day and she said, you know, I write songs every day and, and I feel like I've got about two or three um, I feel like I've got about 12 good ones and I feel like I got two great ones and she's wrote thousands of songs so um, just put it out there and don't be worried about what other people think but, um, this is one of my favorite songs on, on my record that's out right now uh, me and my bass player Phil was out in his front yard. It was a hot, sultry, like June, Nashville evening. The sun was going down the, and the sky was kind of orange and glowy and looked like cotton candy. And his little boy kicked his training wheels off his bike. And uh, he was scared about it. And I said, well, put your Superman cape on, man. And don't be scared to kick your training wheels off your back and go for it, you know? So he did and we pushed him down this hill. <laughs> and he like, this cape was flying behind his back and he had this mohawk helmet on and these incredible Hulk gloves on his hands and snakeskin boots on his feet and like a pair of cars underwear on his butt. And we, we, we took a picture of it and I was like, man, what if you could wake up every day with the spirit of a seven-year-old that's just learned how to ride a bicycle uh, with no training wheels? 